Good morning. Well, we heard from several elected leaders this morning, and they all had the same message that all women deserve access to legal and safe abortion. But that right, that freedom right now is being threatened with the Supreme Court possibly overturning Roe v. Wade. California's attorney general, along with the mayor of Long Beach, joined abortion rights leaders to discuss what's at stake. The reality, they argue, that if abortion becomes illegal, well, more women will die due to unsafe procedures they say will lead to more infections and also deaths. Now this week, California Governor Gavin Newsom, he pledged to make the state a sanctuary for women seeking abortions in those states where the procedure could be outlawed. And while the Supreme Court has not yet overturned Roe v. Wade, some state representatives like those in Louisiana, they are not waiting on that ruling. They're acting now. Louisiana Republicans have advanced a bill to make abortion a crime of murder. So this is what's causing so much concern locally and also now nationally that even if these even these established rights that are still legal are being challenged all people deserve access to legal safe abortion this law uh, if it becomes final will lead to a reduction in access to safe abortions people will get hurt health will be harmed uh, people will die and so we're raising our voices to fight and we're raising our voices to say um, hell no. Hell no to uh, going backwards. Uh, hell no to reversing 50 years of settled law. Uh, hell no to stripping women of their right to reproductive freedom. Now, City Attorney Mike Fuhrer, he's also speaking out on the issue today. In fact, he's sending a huge proposal to President Biden outlining the huge impact he says this would have on women's rights. We'll have much more on that coming up later today. But for now, reporting live in Long Beach, Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Kareen.